Fisheries biologists traditionally stock millions of walleye fingerlings in North Dakota waters in June. For the last handful of years, they've broken from tradition to stock bigger fingerlings later in summer that are hopefully less interesting to predators. To see if we can have a little better success in lakes with bullheads or a high population of perch, because we find that they just, uh, they just depredate on our little walleyes uh, at the time of stocking. These three to four inch advanced walleye fingerlings remain in the Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery ponds until mid-August. They're literally just eating on natural food in the ponds and we get amazing uh, survival and really uh, pretty outstanding production. Weigel says advanced walleye fingerling stocking is done on a limited basis because it creates a lot of pounds of fish and dramatically fewer walleye fingerlings. Without a doubt, we have great success with our traditional small fingerlings that we're not trying to uh, replace or improve on that, just try to improve on a handful of lakes that we just don't have quite the consistent success we do with our traditional fish. Fisheries biologists are stocking about a dozen lakes around the state with advanced walleye fingerlings. And so that's what our goal here is to see if we can improve and get a little better recruitment from year to year with a minimal impact on the hatchery and production. It will take a few years for biologists to determine the success of stocking these bigger fish. Our goal is to, you know, try to notch the fishing up in those lakes to mirror what some of these other lakes that don't have bullheads in, you know, that have amazing fishing. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.